for some reason, everything seems pretty... So, this is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you like flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like he's dead. Because otherwise, there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great. You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. I hate to break it to you, but those pants do you no favors. I was driving so fast, the rabbit just... Look at how you use that hat, making Clean up your ass or something. You're thinking cat has to be stuck, kid. Uh, silly kid, she's uh, not Halloween. Get ridiculous, you look ridiculous. There's a thoroughbred in Kentucky. If you wear that hat around... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you insist on I'm really too good for that man. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up. You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I'm easily swayed by the present you have.
devil comes to town. How's it going? Why'd you pick that? It ain't fraud. It's just being business savvy. Oh, cool! Thanks, Jimmy. It's so cute. Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. What's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. It makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough, OK. I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. There will be wait until time, huh? I will beat you for that. <laughs> Hi, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever try to do something just to look cool? My parents wouldn't be happy if I did that. I heard Pinky has a thing for Hopkins. Talk about bad taste. Not like she's hot stuff anyway. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I almost I can forgot. use that. Did you have someone give you look cool, cool lessons? Guy. Maybe. This is a restricted area, Smear. You are not in your designated area. Phew! Why do they always have to run? I have got a gut feeling about this. There's gotta be someone to beat.
swear I saw something. Oh, there you are. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. <laughs> It gets easier. Another good deed done. Yes, I was a. St hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy, it's you. Yeah. Guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of the school against you, and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary'll get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, oh, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale, by shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Some more impressive than you, and they're yes. pathetic. Don't worry about sad sacks. See me anytime. I'll have your trophy. I always knew I could do it. <laughs> 